What's up, people? It's your boy Levelhead back with another video. And I just want to ask a question to all those who still seem to hate on the Switch any and every chance they get while totally making a fool of themselves, showing themselves to be very hypocritical, BG and others who will say that they would never play certain things and then the next thing you know, they playing certain things. Anyway, what are you scared of? What bothers you? What concerns you? What is the fear factor when it comes to the Switch? Now, I don't see this with PC gamers, but I do see this with, you know, a lot of PlayStation and Xbox uh, leaning fans. Um, hip hop gamer. It won't, you know, we gotta wait until a year is under the belt. Dup, 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 dup. We gotta wait. We can, no, we gotta wait. You didn't wait for when, when your system that you like or the system that you lean to was doing successful. It was successful when it was successful. There was no waiting. But all the words that he said has been shoved back down his Sony loving throat. Now, I'm not making this no fanboy war because I like all of it. I'm, look, Sony is still killing folks. While the the Switch is being successful, Sony is still doing its thing. Now, Microsoft, yeah, that might be some concerns, but it ain't because of the Switch. But what I'm saying is, why do you get up in arms at positive Switch news? That's weird to me. Like, I can understand when we were adolescents, young men, young teens, things like that. You might have been in the council war biz, but... As grown men, why should I get mad because Sony is still selling very good? Like, they have shipped 70 million and it has sold like 60 something. Why should I get mad at that? I got a PlayStation 4. <laughs> I, no, I don't have a Pro, but I have a PlayStation 4. I buy games for that system because I like the system. So, when I talk about the Switch and its success, that does not diminish Sony and the PlayStation 4. It doesn't. No, all these systems can thrive. I want all of them to be successful. But I definitely want the Nintendo and its device to be successful because I am a Nintendo um, leaning gamer. But why do y'all get upset? I made a video saying I believe that the Switch is the blueprint for the future. And, the, and some folks just... Act as if I said PlayStation and Microsoft suck. I didn't say that. <laughs> Never one time said it. I said they are replicas of, or more powerful replicas of the old. And I believe that the Switch is a four step and a first step into the new, even though it is not as powerful as those systems. It can be in that form factor. And that feature, which we discussed, we discussed on the podcast later, I would like to have the feature, the ability to take my game with me and never have to detach myself out of the game. I'm not forced to have to turn it off anymore. And I'm like, just like online services. That brings me in to play with friends around the world. Nintendo has now has to address that. Why? Because it is a staple feature amongst gamers. We expect that feature. You can no longer ignore that. And I'm saying if the Switch continues to be successful like it is, you will not be able to ignore the continued access to your game on the go at home. That feature that play anywhere, everywhere, whenever you want, will be a staple feature that both Sony and Microsoft will have to entertain in some capacity in the future. Why? Because the Switch is successful with it. That's what I'm saying. Why would that scare you? Why would that cause you to start waving your uh, flags of allegiance and, and arming the tanks and the guns and everything. <laughs> Last time I checked, Sony is still killing. Last time I checked, Microsoft is still selling. 
and the switch is selling like crazy too. So what are you scared of? <laughs> what is bothering you about Nintendo being successful? Oh, because you thought what you saw with the Wii U was definitely a, 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 a foreshadowing of the future? You wasn't expecting? Oh, no, we none of us was. But that's the beauty of it. That's why you should commend them. That's why you should tilt your hat. That's why you should salute the fact that they can come out of that, turn around and come with the Switch, and not only come with the Switch, dang near, if not pretty much, dominate with the Switch. That's commendable. You can't hate as a gamer on that. <laughs> y'all, some of y'all, man, need to check what's going on in the mental states of your brains with all this hating, all this insecurity, because a few folks like to talk about the success of the Switch as if some kind of way that diminishes the success of the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One X or S or OG or whatever else. No, it does not. It just means that we got to talk about the Switch because the Switch is the hot topic right now. Nothing has dethroned it in conversation since it's been in the marketplace. It has earned the right to be talked about. It's selling crazy. Its, it's attachment rate is crazy. Uh, it's, it's appealing to gamers. Real gamers. From the ones entering in, young gamers, the wet behind the ear gamers, Teenage, young adult gamers and gamers who've been there for a while, hardcore gamers is appealing. Why? Because I can take what I play at home with me on the go. That is very enticing. Anyway, give me your thoughts. Where is this insecurity coming from? Why are y'all so hateful and mad that the Switch is successful? Why are y'all mad that Zelda won game of the year? Was it? Any question that it wouldn't really? Can we even argue this point? What was you going to place it put in his place to win? Horizon Zero done? Really? Oh uh, no, I'm just messing. <laughs> PUBG for real? <laughs> I even said Mario Odyssey didn't deserve to win it. I said that. Me and Keith Norris said that. Even though Odyssey is a great game, we both said it is not supposed to win Game of the Year over Breath of the Wild. It is not even in his league. Odyssey wasn't even in his league. So if I can say that, why are you crying because Horizon Zero Dawn didn't win? It didn't deserve to win. It didn't. Why are you mad at that? Why you can't handle that Nintendo for the first time won Game of the Year? For the first time, folks. <laughs> Y'all. Whew. I guess I'm just getting too old and it don't matter anymore. Anyway, hopefully we get on for the podcast tonight, 8.30 p.m. Keith Norris, k 20, D2K, if he's available. Uh, but till then, let me know, man, what's all this hate about? What's all this insecurity coming from? Over some video games. Some plastic grown man toys. Anyway, deuces.